Hello, my name's Dielectrics. I'm with the AU Review at the Come Together Festival at Luna Park 2013. Check it out. What's happening? But yeah, uh, they, there's kids that I know who don't know what a cassette is. And, you know, they're like in their 20s. So, so I think we are kind of the generation that has seen the, the media and, and ushered in the lack of it. So we see it. When you were young, did you used to kind of sit there listening to the radio, making your own mixtapes and things like that? I did. I used to listen to the Jays and record stuff off the Jays. I used to watch Rage and make VSH mixtapes with this thing. Just technology go away. <laughs> Talking about videotapes. <laughs> and um, yeah, I used to stay up late and watch Rage after washing dishes as a teenager and make VSH, VHS tapes. Um, I did all that. I used to make mixtapes with my brother. Um, you know, when I was young, I got inspired by a movie to try and make beat tapes, even though I had no idea how to do it and just made a big mess. So, yeah, yeah I, I went through that, that whole period. And I had a, a brother who was, you know, nearly a decade older than me, so I was influenced by him and, and, and all the music he was listening to and how he was, you know, recording it and, yeah, what he was listening on. So, yeah, I've, I've seen that too. It's... And now you're here with, uh, with the new album in your, in your pocket. Yeah. Uh, not in my actual pocket, but I, um, I have brought out the new album. You know, um, it's one that I'm ex extremely kind of proud of, even f coming from what we're talking about. It's the first album I've ever had where the lyrics are in it, and it's the first time I've been able to get one of my own albums and go through and see the grammar that is maybe done wrong <laughs> but you know, and then see how how it would be for a potential fan to because a lot of my my lyrics are, you know pretty rapidly delivered so a lot of people miss a lot of the stuff that's in it so i was proud of of the album that it, it did have that for the first time and and that's again why i posted that thing on facebook though it's a shame that you know people who don't buy the record won't have that experience so yeah. that was gonna be my next question i mean yeah. The speed at which you deliver is incredible. I mean, how how do you train yourself up to be able to do that? Because it's not something you can just wake uh, up and do. I don't know. It's you definitely do train yourself. Well, I train myself. I heard other people rapping fast, and I wanted to be able to do it. And um, were the people you listened to to kind of yeah, kind of like it? of course there was um, first fast rappers. I, I grew up in New Zealand. There was a massive following for for Bone Thugs and Harmony. So some of the first rap songs I ever heard had really quick triplet, you know, rhythms to them, which I think kind of subconsciously was lodged in my brain. By the time I started rapping, I knew those things were possible. So I was trying to do this, like stuff like that. I was trying to phrase it. I don't think I consciously knew it at the time, but I, I wanted to be able to do those sort of rhythms. People like Buster Rhymes, uh, Pharaoh Monch, um, Twister, Fushnikins, uh, Foreign Beggars, a lot of the English rappers and, and even the grime movement have, have you know, incorporated a lot of that fast, faster deliveries and rhythms. And, you know, I never really got into Ragga that much, but obviously Def Wish cast, who were a very pivotal influence on me growing up, you know, had, had Ragga songs, they listened to Ragga artists. And so, yeah, all of those things f filtered in as influences and trying to replicate what they were doing. I had to teach myself how to do it. And um, yeah, it's taken a while. It's something I've always done. But I guess when I went solo, I toned it back a bit so that people could kind of understand what it was I was saying first. They know that I'm not, not talking gibberish. Now you know I'm not talking gibberish. I'm going to speed it up about 20 times faster. So yeah, I just enjoy, I enjoy rhythm, enjoy rhythm. And I've I was a drummer when I was younger, so it's trying to turn words back into a drum kit, I guess. Do you see people in the crowd keeping up with you? There's about three. <laughs> there's there's a couple dudes. I've seen some, one guy just death staring at me, just going hammer and tong one time, and it almost blew my concentration. He's just there, just going, just, you know. But yeah, not that many people do keep up with it. Um, Oh, it's, I guess it's, it can be seen as a gimmicky novelty type of a thing, but it's just the way I like to rap, you know? Mm. I like rapping in all sorts of different styles and fashions, and, and that's one that just never, never fails to make me feel good because I like sitting in the pocket. I like 
playing drums so it's it's very similar although the meanings can be lost and you can confuse what what it's being said it's transcended by the the kind of musical element of it i guess what's the rest of the album for you writing a lot more music there definitely will not be three years before between this and the next record like the last time um in a couple of weeks, I'm going back down to start writing the next LP with Plutonic Lab. I will be working on another EP, which incorporates international producers and um, touring from July through August and September, doing festivals like this and Sprung and other exclusive Australian artists sort of hip hop show, uh, festivals. And yeah, just trying to push push the envelope a little bit more and, and do things slightly different from last time. So. That's what that's what's on the cards for the next rest of the year and probably my life. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, thanks for taking time to talk to us today. Easy, mate. Thank I you. Hope the rest of the day come together is fun for you. Will be. Are you going to go and watch the herd a little later? I'll probably watch everyone and uh, get on stage to do a little dance, maybe get into the spirit of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we look forward to seeing you up there. Okay. Cheers, thanks mate. Thanks for your time. Thank you.